Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing if you do. Hit the notification bell. Go the updates. Really excited for today's video. It's a pumpkin ale, and I don't remember if I've ever reviewed one. I'm sure I have. I must have. Uh, I like them. I just... Like, have I even reviewed Pumpkin? I, I should have looked it up. So yeah, like, I'm really excited because style I enjoy that I don't drink a lot of, and that's lame. Um... So this is called Scarecrow Juice. It's a pumpkin ale, like I said, 6.3% ABV. Wait, did I say this is from Dave? Sorry if I didn't. Dave, thank you so much for sending it. Um, original Wet Ticket Brewing. They're out of New Jersey. Um, nothing different on the side of the can from what I already said. Um, and I read that when I did the unboxing. Okay, I feel good. Let's get into it. That's filled very full. I'm so excited. <laughs> Cause like pumpkin ales, it, you know, are you gonna get like, it's like really spicy pumpkin pie kind of a thing? Is it more of a subtle uh, flavor that they're going for? Does it have, you know, the, the, the nutmeg and the cinnamon, the allspice? You know, you, I, I don't know with this one. Yeah, it's got that nice orange color. Uh, it's like yeah, amber to orange maybe is the color and even the head like it's you can tell um, you know the head started off white but then it has all that orange in it and that's that's what it did there it's small medium bubble no small bubbles small bubbles they're starting to break up a little bit so I can get some peaks and valleys in the center but that, that is definitely you know if, if I went to a, a brewery or a bar and I ordered their pumpkin ale right that's what I want it to look like so all right so far, so good. Let's get to the aroma. <laughs> Has a nice soft sweetness. Maybe you know, a little bit more intense than a soft sweetness. But not cloningly sweet. Not, not that far. Slight caramel. Very slight. Which I, I think between the two things I've said so far is making this beer uh, sound like it smells sweeter than it does. But it does have some of those spices. I can't... I'm not good enough, at least right now, like it's not just cinnamon or something. I'm not good enough to be like, it's the, you know this combination or, or these intensities, but I, I can tell you it's not overpowering with cinnamon. That is something that I would be able to say and, and pick up on. I actually, whatever ratio and spices you're using, I think is like really on point because it's not overly done. Nothing is killing anything else. And, and the, the, that right level of sweetness, this beer smells phenomenal. It just, it smells like fall. You almost smell like wet leaves, you know? It, it's just, all right, let's get to the taste. Cheers. Thanks again, Dave. I mean, that's what I want that beer to taste like, too. You know, for that 6.3%, it might be a little thinner. But I'm trying to think of, like, recent pumpkin ales I've had. And it, it, you probably got to go to last year. I probably had a pumpkin, uh, maybe a dogfish head, you know, pumpkin ale. But, like, definitely the, the, the pumpkin beer that I have consumed the most is without a doubt pumpkin. And that's got a higher ABV, you know, it's a bigger beer. So that's kind of what I'm thinking, like as I taste this and I say it's a little thin, but for six, was it 6.3, right? Yeah, 6.3, I think this is where it should be. Just like the aroma, those flavors that are coming through, those spices that are coming through, it's not overdone, it's there enough. It's, it's not sweet enough to be full on pumpkin pie in a glass, but it scratches that itch for people who think that's too much. This is probably pulled back enough that you would like it. I think this is really good. I love that smell. It does. It just it's incredible how aroma can trigger memories and stuff. And it does. You just you kind of smell Halloween. You kind of smell you know like like carving a pumpkin uh, again like wet leaves. Um, pumpkin pie on Thanksgiving. It definitely has just, it smells like fall in a glass. I 
Yeah, it's not caramel. That thing I was going to roll... No, it is. No, it is. It is. So I guess the taste follows the nose pretty good. And I know that, again, makes it sound sweeter than it is, but it's not that sweet. That's a good beer. Um, you know, again, I, I guess the thinness is if I was to, you know, if someone was like really like, you know, gun to my head, you got to find a criticism. Yeah, I guess it's a little thin, but the flavors are, are on point. The, the drinkability is on point. Like this, this is good on its own. This would be really nice to have with something like a dessert. You know, it's not going to overpower. It's not going to be too much more sweetness to what you're already eating. But like, actually, yeah, like a, a slice of pumpkin pie or, or a, you know, a dessert, any really dessert, a oh man, cheesecake or something with this. Okay, I think it's clear I really like this beer, <laughs> and I'm regretting that I didn't drink more pumpkin uh, beers this fall uh, as we're getting you know further and further into winter. Thanks again, Dave, for sending it. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys at home for watching. I always appreciate that. Check me out, check me out on Instagram and on Tap. It's no hype beer reviews about those places. So always please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.